So first I start out by painting my background. Uh, you can do it in a single color or you can do it in uh, a gradient. I chose to do a gradient with four different colors that just kind of fade into each other. And after that's dry, I go over it with a coat of gloss medium. This will just help the paint that you put over to um, come off easier and it'll help your colors underneath stay a little more vibrant. It won't let the uh, paint that you put over it stain it so much. I used a heavy gloss medium here that I thinned out with a little bit of water, but you can use just a regular gloss medium to go over that. If you're impatient about paint drying like I am, you can uh, go over that and speed along the process with a heat gun or a hair dryer. And before you start your next step, you're going to want to have all the rest of your materials like your paint and some plastic bags handy because you're going to want to work really quickly. You may want some rubber gloves because it can get messy. So at this point I just paint my background with a dark color. For this one I went with a really dark navy color. Next I take a crinkled up plastic shopping bag and press it into the canvas to remove the paint. You're going to want to have multiple shopping bags so you have a clean uh, surface to remove the paint on. You can probably get a, a couple pressings with one bag but you're definitely going to want to have multiple bags here. And then I realized that my paint was a little too thick so I went back over with some water on the canvas to thin it out and then I repressed with my shopping bags to get the texture. Sometimes art, it's a trial and error thing, so you know, you just gotta try things again. I just keep going with the bags until I get a look that I like and I'm happy with. And with this one, I just wanted to show you what it would look like if you did it with a really thin, watered down coat of dark paint over your background. And then I go in again with my crinkled up plastic bags and remove the paint. And you see with the, the thinned out paint it removes a lot easier and you can kind of see your your texture is a little more is a little more clearer. And you don't have to kind of keep working with it. You can just go over it a couple of times and you're good to go with the thin layer of paint. And that is how I create textured backgrounds with plastic shopping bags. I hope you have fun trying this and thanks for watching.